My name is Sophia, and I am six years old, and I am a cherub. I, my name is Brayden. My, I'm a cherub. I'm five years old. My name is Teresa Brown, and I'm nine years old. I'm a cherub. My name is Tyler and I'm 12 years old. I'm a cherub. My name is Mason and I am 6 years old. I am a cherub. My name is Sean and I am 17 years old. I am a cherub. My name is Brighton and I'm 4 years old. I'm a cherub. My name is Vincent and I am 7 years old. I am a cherub. I was born with congenital diaphragm anachronia. That's the burst effect that happened to me when my diaphragm did not grow all the way. There is a hole that let my intestines move into my chest, and my left lung could not grow. My parents found out when my mommy had, had an ultrasound when she was five months pregnant. My mommy and daddy were really scared. They went in on the internet to find help. They found a charity called Cherubs. That gave them lots of information, and they met other families that had babies like me. My parents didn't feel alone after that. I was born with the Watcher's Daughters. When I was born, there were lots of doctors and nurses that were there. I was really sick and almost died. I was on a machine that helped me breathe. When I was a few days old, I had to get a very big surgery. My doctor put my tummy back where it was supposed to go, and then he fixed the hole. I am like a superhero because I have a patch inside me with special powers. I have a big scar now on my tummy where the patch is. And I was hooked up to a gigantic, huge machine called an ECMO machine. It did all the breathing for me because I was too sick and my heart and lungs needed to rest. It was really scary and my parents were really afraid. It was a good day when I got to come off that machine and I did okay. I spent a long time in the hospital waiting for my lungs to get better. I had to take lots of medicines because it hurt really bad and I had medicines to help me breathe and do other things too. I had lots of smaller procedures like getting an IV and stuff and lots and lots of x-rays. My parents were always there. My sister had to stay home with my grandma and grandpa. It was hard for my whole family with my medical bills. My mommy and daddy say that I'm the million dollar kid. When I came home from the hospital when I was four months old, everyone was happy. I still had to go see the doctors a lot, and eating was really hard for me for a long time. I couldn't run and play like a lot of upper kids for a while, and sometimes it's hard to breathe still. I get tired sometimes too, but I will catch up soon, my mom says. I bet it's tough to have a kid like me. My parents worry a lot. I am a lucky chair. I got to come home and live with my mommy and daddy and brother and sister. Not every chair gets to do that. So mom and dads have to go to cemeteries to spend some time with their cherubs. We don't know why. That makes us sad. Every 10 minutes, somewhere in the world, congenital diaphragmatic hernia strikes another family, and another cherub is on its way. A baby is born, yet there is no cry. 50% of these precious cherubs will not survive. Those who do face weeks, months, and sometimes years of challenges. And even when they go home, there is always the fear. The hernia could reoccur, and yet another cherub could grow their wings. No one knows why it happens, and these families need answers. Research is the key, but it can only happen with your help. Please help to save the cherubs. Donate. Spread awareness.